Governor Evers says he will include what he calls a first step toward legalizing medical marijuana in his first state budget proposal. Our editorial partner, Wispolitics.com, also reported that Evers might want to put the question of full legalization to voters in a statewide referendum. Assembly leaders have indicated they are open to considering controlled medical marijuana, but the Senate is a different story. We're talking about this next and what happens next with Democratic State Representative Melissa Sargent of Madison. Representative, good to have you back on the program. And there's been a big change in attitude in the state's top elected officials. How do, how do you feel about this transformation in attitudes? I find it really refreshing um, that the folks that are working in the Capitol building on behalf of the, our friends and neighbors across the state of Wisconsin are hearing their voices um, and are taking this um, this conversation very um, seriously and thinking about how it is that we can come up with a real solution for the people in Wisconsin. Is the passage of medical marijuana legislation realistic given some of what's been said by some Republican lawmakers, especially in the Senate? Well, certainly the tides have changed in the Capitol building. I think that this is a fabulous example of how it is that um, we as policymakers come along and react to what it is that the public is asking us to do. Um, in November, over half of the state of Wisconsin had the opportunity to vote on non-binding referendum questions about whether or not the prohibition of marijuana in Wisconsin is working in our state. And resoundingly, in red communities and blue communities, urban and rural, the message was loud and clear. We need to do something about the prohibition of marijuana in Wisconsin. Do you think lawmakers are, are hearing that message? When I'm walking in the halls and talking to my colleagues, um, they are hearing the message. Now, I think that it's really important that leadership continue to hear that message, not only from their colleagues and their caucuses, but also from um, the people who they are representing in their communities. Give us a, a, a time frame. I mean, this, even just a few years ago, seemed nearly impossible given the political dynamics in Wisconsin. How far down the road are we talking about before you believe medical marijuana will be legal? or even recreational marijuana will be legal. Well, I think we have a good chance of legalizing marijuana um, for medicinal purposes in Wisconsin within this this biennium. Um, I would anticipate within the next five years that we have a clear path to full legalization in the state. Do you, do you feel Wisconsin has been slow to recognize that the public sentiment on this issue has changed? Well, I, I'm going to preface my answer. I'm not sure that Wisconsin has been slow to realize the importance of making this change. The general population of the state of Wisconsin has been ahead on this issue for quite some time. I think the people who are slow to recognize the need for this change are the policymakers. Um, it has become an issue that is talked about on campaign trails. It's an issue that people are lobbying in the halls of the Capitol building. And quite frankly, I'm hearing from my colleagues that they're being approached at the grocery stores and on the soccer fields in their communities. So it is percolating to the top of one of the issues that people are asking us to consider. I'd like you to respond to something I asked uh, Attorney General Call about earlier in the program, and that is this notion that why do we need another legal drug, whether it's medical marijuana or whether it's recreational marijuana, why do we need this in a state that has problems with opioids, a state that has problems with drunk driving, why do we need that? Well, certainly it's already um, being used in our community. People are already using marijuana. It's not the introduction of something new. Um, and the prohibition of marijuana in our state actually makes us be less safe. If we tax and regulate marijuana, we're actually gonna be able to see a decrease in opioid usage. We're gonna be able to address impaired driving on our, on our roads and make a real positive impact on our racial disparities. This is the right thing to do. Give me a sense of why this issue became important to you. Um, you know, I never would have imagined when I first ran for office that this would be one of the first issues that I would be known for in the legislature. Um, but listening to the people in my community, being out knocking on doors, community listening sessions and office hours, phone calls and emails from people, not only in my district, from across the state of Wisconsin, led me to know that the most dangerous thing about marijuana in Wisconsin is that it's illegal um, and that we need to have a common, pragmatic, common sense approach to addressing this. Melissa Sargent is a state representative from Madison, Democrat. It's good to have you back on the program. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks very much for being with us. Coming up next, finding common ground when you see the world oh so differently.